Morning, morning, folks. This is the Double RT Boxing Show. Thanks for tuning in. As you can see outside, there's a bright light shining through. Might be another hot one out here in Anaheim, California. Yesterday was in the hundreds. Now we're starting this morning off with a post-fight recap of my dark horse in the welterweight division. Uh, Kutralo Abdul Kakarov. Now, if you've been following this show, you know I'm high on this guy. I, li I like his style. I like his movement. I like his punching. His punching power is pretty good. It's pretty decent. His, uh, his, his arsenal is good. Now, before I get into his fight with, uh, uh, what's his name? Like I said, it's an eight rounder, an eight rounder stay busy fight. He was fighting, uh, he was fighting Tuaho Kaduki, Kaduki, no, Tuwa Kiduku. Yeah, he was coming down from middleweight, super welterweight, and then he came back down to, uh, Walterweight. Now, like I said, before I go on to that fight, Uzbekistan got a team of killers. You know, I knew about one of them because he's been on the undersar undercard of uh, Quadrillo a few times, and that's a uh, Azekbek Abdu Goforov. Crazy ass names in his Uzbekistan's. You know, I knew about him. Like I said, he's been on the undercard of Quatrillo a few times, so I recognize that name. I saw him a few times. Now, the other guys I stumbled upon on the undercard, uh, making his pro debut was a uh, Bezoy Tersu Borev. Like I said, I don't know how good his amateur background is. I don't do the amateur thing. But the dude looks like he's going to be a killer. If you like Bivol, you probably like this dude. You know, he's setting up by setting up the jabs and just killing body. And then there's another guy who's coming out. He's like four no, um, ugly big, sorry balls. Like I said, these Uzbekistanis love that their last names end with the roll and they're hard as hell to pronounce. So maybe they won't get the best American um, coverage, but they're all trained by. The same coach, same same team. You know, I don't know if it's the Vladimir Box, not not Klitschko Box, not the those guys, but the Vladimir Boxing Gym. That team has a team of killers. It's Quadrilo, Bekzoy, Uglebek, and Azabek. With a uh, Quadrilo being the the leader of them, fifteen and zero, and uh, he is the silver Walterway champion. I thought he was. I I was I was it was I was shocked that the WBC made Sean Porter and Andre and um, Adrian Granados fight for it. I was like, whoa, why are they fighting for the silver belt? That's my boy's Quadrillo's title. But I don't know what happened, but he has that belt back. So he's number four with the WBC, and he's the silver champion. So look out for look out for the Punisher. And then Azabek, he just defeated uh, Dmitry Kudarov quite handily for the silver super middleweight title. So look out for these um, Uzbekistan guys. Like I said, and the other two guys I mentioned, uh, Bekzoy Torsumbol, he's just made his pro debut. So like I said, he probably, the way he's fighting, he looks like he has a high amateur background. Or at least a decent one. The way the way that pro debut, he came out in a pro debut against um. Now it was it was you know he came out against um. Roy Muckless, twenty nine and eight and three, on his pro pro debut. He, he was coming up from lightweight, you know I get I do get that, but he beat the shit out of him. He beat him bad. Be, he beat his body down bad. You know, just jabbed him high and beat his body down bad. Uh, Uglebeck, uh, he did the same thing. First round, took out Hor Horgi. And what, what Horgi's was what? Uh, where was he at? He was 39, 35, and 1. So I said, 
very experienced fighters. These guys are fighting at a very young moment in their career, and he beat the shit out of him. Jabbed him, and like that, these guys are body killers. If you love the way Spence kills the body, you're gonna love these four dudes. And they mix it up well. They use the ring well. And if you like Bivol style, you should like uh, Bekzoid and uh, Uglebek. You should and, and Azabek. Quatrillo moves the most out of them all. Like if you like Bivol style and body attacking, you're gonna like this team. It's just a, a team of killers, man. So now that I spoke about the little uh, Uzbekistan army, I probably do a little more in depth on their videos, even though it won't be too long because they're you know one rounders. But I just I wanted to give a mention of like this is the double RT boxing show. That's what Mr. A does. If I find someone I like, I put them out there because I do think these guys are going to be some killers. Like I said, I, I'm already riding with Quatrillo. You guys have been knowing that. And as a back, I knew of him, like I said, from the undercard of Quatrillo's. And he just became a silver super middleweight champion. So we're going to discuss him more in the future. But now we're actually moving on to the fight between Quatrillo and uh, Tuaha Kaduku. Like I said, Kuduku was moving. He 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 went. He was started as a welterweight, went up to middleweight, went down to su uh, super welterweight, then finally came back down to welterweight. And maybe that extra weight gave him some like some shield of us. Quatrillo was killing this dude's body, killing it. And he like you know once in a while he got he stumbled him with a, a hook or something. But he, for eight rounds, he killed this dude's body. And uh, Tawohu was kind of like, once in a while, he threw a punch that might do something, but it didn't really connect. You know, he, con he connected on uh, punches, but nothing serious. He was kind of like in just high guard, tucking in the whole fight, and really like back in the survival mode. It got to the point where uh, Quadrilla was like, I'm beating the shit out this dude's body, and he ain't going down. So he started like working on some things, working on some hooks, um, switching on the angles like Lomachenko. was like I start here, then end up over there, punching. So he was really, like, he tried to finish him. He tried to entertain, beat the shit out of his body. But that dude, like I said, that that, that middleweight drop gave him some some extra girth, and he took he absorbed it all. Like, even after the fight, he was just like, hey. You know, like so, it makes me want to question: like, is Quachillo's power a little off than I thought it was? But his boxing's there, or is just Tawahu, uh, Tawaha coming down from middleweight just had enough to absorb all that shit? So he, he Quachillo beat the shit out of him. Body attack, body attack, body attack, body attack. Like I said, if you love Earl Spence, body attack. You're gonna love this dude's body attack and the rest of the team. Um, but like I said, he he is a unanimous decision. He's the WBC Silver Walkthrough Champion. He's ranked number four. You're gonna see him sooner or later. I've been speaking about him for going on a year now. You're gonna see him. You figure number one is Danny Garcia, number two is Sean Porter, number three is Jesse Vargas, and then you got Quatrillo. We're going to see what my boy is made of when he's, he's, he's going to get one of those fights soon. He's going to get a, he's going to get a, uh, a name real soon. And we're going to see, cause that right now the highest name on his resume is a uh, Charles Mananucci. He, up, he uh, knocked out Charles Mananucci, I think in the second round. So we're going to see what he's about, you know, am I, am, am I just blowing smoke on you guys or am I, Letting you guys know there's a there's a, a contender, a real life contender out there. The double RT boxer. I am Mr. A. Not the double RT box the double RT boxing show. I am your host, Mr. A. Thank you for tuning in. Post fight recap. Quatrillo retains his I don't think his belt was on the line. It's an eight rounder, just stay busy fight. But he's a WBC Silver Walter Champion. Unanimous decision over Tuaha Kaduki. Nice stay busy. Sharpened his skills. He's ready. Double RT Boxing. Thank you for tuning in. And check out the rest of that Uzbeki team. You know, you got Azabek, Abdul Goforov, Uglybek, 
Soborov, Bekzoy, Tarsuboev, and there's there's more of them, but those three who are on the undercard, ridiculous.